hi there. Today we are going to hike to the grotto along the San Andreas Fault in Southern California. And this hike did not disappoint me. I really enjoyed it. We hike through some beautiful narrows, see some absolutely incredible geology, beautiful colors in the rocks, kind of reminiscent of Death Valley. Um, and then we also crawl our way into pitch black caverns uh, called the grotto and um, scramble our way through the darkness. And we also see an oasis or two. This is a beautiful all round hike and I hope you'll join me. After doing the Indio Badlands hike in my previous video, my next park up or camping spot was located along Painted Canyon Road off Box Canyon Road near the San Andreas Fault, and I had fun exploring around the Badlands near camp. There are some amazing hikes at the end of Painted Canyon Road that I've made videos of and I'll share links to them throughout this video and in the description below. This section of Box Canyon Road goes through a colorful valley or ravine lined by upturned strata along California 195 in the Mecca Hills, part of a metamorphic zone associated with the San Andreas Fault. If you're in the area, it's a worthwhile scenic drive and there are a few other hikes in the area that are less challenging than the one we do today. I'm here at the trailhead for the Grotto in Box Canyon near Coachella, California. The reviews on this are very mixed. Um, none of them say it's easy though, so here goes. The trail ahead and over there is the Salton Sea. So that's where I came down off the ridge and I almost started walking that way and then I pulled out the map and the route we actually go is straight across this wash. Yeah, we can enter the canyon. Oh, the sun is persistently in the wrong place to take. But look at that. What on earth is this? I have never seen anything like it before. That's my hand. Huh. Well, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm totally off trail. Um, but I just can't resist this. I'm just going to go up here a little bit more. And now I have to go a little bit more. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at back from where I just scrambled up. Wow. just can't stop exploring these side canyons. Look at this. I guess I better go and get back on the trail. Okay, here's my first obstacle. I sure hope that we don't have an earthquake right now. Oh, 
Okay. I had to move the ladder a bit. That um, rung that's missing is going to make this a bit difficult for a short person like me. Um, so here goes. <laughs> I'm not doing it twice for the camera. Thank goodness, I'm used to taking big steps up into Studley. I'm shaking a bit. <laughs> well, do I have to go through here? Seriously? That is a deep hole. This is very scary looking. Uh, well, let's go through that. Huh. Okay. So there's a yellow rope here. Okay, this is a bit creepy. A bit scary. But very cool. Right. I climb down here. There is a rope to help. This is Look at this. This is stuff hanging down. Oh my gosh. I'm going to assume that this is called the grotto. And... Oh my gosh. I have to crawl under here. Next. Take my pack off of this. Bumped my head. <laughs> That's that little bitty hole we just crawled through. Stuff washed down. This is just basically a big tumble of rocks that has come down <laughs> from erosion or maybe a quake. Well, this is the most exciting thing I've done for a long time. This is so freaking cool. It was incredibly cool. Look what is above my head. Oh my. Woo! That was a bit of an adrenaline rush for me. Since I'm on my own, everything's a little bit scarier when you're on your own. All right. Into the next one. Oh. <laughs> oh my. I did bring a flashlight. Oh. Whoa. That is dark. <laughs> this is what we have to go through and this requires stemming so i'm gonna have to put my phone away okay that's what i've come across now to go and get down there. Oh, this one's about to come down. Oof. Wow. Whew. It might be time to stop and have a snack. That is the grotto and the slot that we just came through. I can't tell which way they're coming from. I think it's this way. Hello. You're the first people I've seen so far. <laughs> The first, first. only. Been the best, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
they said we can crawl through that. I needed to look for Diane or, or uh, Adrian then. Oh, no. Oh. Well, <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, I decided to crawl. All right, crawling done. Onward. This hike is not disappointing me. <laughs> oh, whoa, <laughs> look at that. The brachia in these canyons is just amazing. So when you come out of that canyon after the grottoes, you have to look for this trail off to the left here. I walked by it just slightly before I thought I'd double check the map. So up there we go. Please, please, I hope the trail doesn't go up there. Well, at least I get a good view of the canyon. This is steep. Well, looky down there. There's an oasis. It wouldn't be good to slip right now. <laughs> Gosh, what's going to happen to the trail when this last little bit of road's away here? Gosh, I might be doing the boot scoop boogie down here. Well, that was fun. Whoa. Not really what I expected to find out here. Wow. Just look at this. Look, I think I know where the idea of hula skirts came from now. Onward. All right, duck everyone. Duck really low. of the trail that we originally came up. Looks like we might have another small spring here. Well, this is a bit of a jumbled up mess. <sighs> Whatever. My goodness, I'm feeling the burn in my thighs. I do not recommend sitting around the desert for two and a half months without finding some hills to go up and down. Just walking on the level doesn't do it. All right, there's my studly van, my vision in white. <laughs> I'm always so happy to see him, and I'm also always happy to see him untouched.